Hello everyone, welcome. Today is Monday. It is the 8th of April. Coco and I are here to tell you we have been to Hobby Lobby and picked up some framing today and I'll share with you my uh, private bingo stitching that I've accomplished today. So far, anyway, today. But I couldn't wait to show you the framing that I had done at Hobby Lobby. So the first one I want to tell you about, I mentioned to you before that um, my sister-in-law had a puppy that um, was her precious pet for 21 years. Her name is Ginger. And she passed away right before we left on vacation. And uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, my friend, one of my friends who met me um, on vacation paints with watercolor and she does people's pets for them. And I showed you this piece before it was framed and I'm gonna leave it wrapped because we're gonna deliver this to my sister-in-law as a present. But this is Ginger. And I think we did a great job framing her. So I love the charcoal mat to pull out the grays that are in her. And the brush gold looks wonderful with her coloring, I think. Anyway, I think um, Mindy did a fabulous job framing her. And then the second one I want to show you is one of those pieces that I want to talk to you a little bit about. And I haven't unwrapped it yet either. But um, this is a sampler for all seasons. This is a frame that I had in my collection. You can see it's got flowers all around in sort of a almost a green patinaed color. And so I wanted to use this for a sampler for all seasons because of the two borders of flowers in there. And I asked Mindy if she thought it would fit and we discussed whether or not we wanted a mat. We decided not to get the mat because um, it was gonna have such a small amount of room on the two ends for the mat to show. So today I picked up my sampler for all seasons and I'm gonna have to lean it to where you can see it. So here it is. I think it looks great in this frame. Now I will tell you, Mindy told me ahead of time, there's more space at the bottom than there is at the top simply because she didn't have enough fabric to stretch it otherwise. I kind of wish she had called me and told me that before she finished it. I could have come and gotten it. I could have sewn the fabric onto it and possibly given her just enough room to get it even between the, the two spaces. But it isn't that different. And so to be able to use a frame I paid $5 for, <laughs> It's not bad at all. So I'm just gonna keep it that way. I may, down the road, order a plaque, like just a piece of metal that says a sampler for all seasons. And I may attach it onto the glass below the piece, you know, right, ar right around in here. So it makes it look more even. So I'm sure I could order that through like a trophy company or something, but truthfully, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not that bad. But she did the best she could with what she had to work with and she knew that I wanted to, um, you know, that I wanted to use this frame. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and I'll see what I think about it. So tell me what you think. Do you think a plaque at the bottom would be enough? to make it balanced. I'm thinking it might, and it certainly would be the cheapest thing to do. Anyway, there you go. That's, that's the framing that I have. And then today, my bingo call was for an autumn whip. And my only autumn whip I have right now, really, is autumn in the village. And so I pulled it out. It's my 36 count. I pulled it out and I stitched on it today and I put 113 stitches in it and that was in this tree. I color completed two colors uh, in the tree today and that was more than enough 
stitches to meet the prompt. And so I am going to put it back away because I want to stitch on other things this evening. I'm zooming with some friends, and this is not what I want to stitch on when I'm zooming. 36, 36 count is too um, tight, you know, too, too tight for me to try to do while I'm on a Zoom call. So I'll come back hopefully and share with you what I stitch while I'm talking with friends. And in the meantime, happy stitching. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> I am about to get on a Zoom call tonight, but before I do, I wanted to share with you what I was stitching on this afternoon. I have just decided a few moments ago that it has gotten too late to stitch on black fabric. I'm having a hard time seeing it, but I had picked this up today. I had hoped to work on it all through Zoom, and I had hoped to get the whole happy birthday stitched so that all I had left were the three cupcakes. But I made it through the word happy. And I actually finished the last balloon and happy and I put all the little bows in, which are um, Lazy Daisy uh, stitches. But all total, I did 213 stitches this afternoon. And guess what? It's not for a prompt. <laughs> I just wanted to get it stitched because it's for my birthday mantle for August. And so I wanted to get busy working on it. So now I have the word birthday to do and three cupcakes. And they're not simple to do. They have a lot of color changes in them. So I'm looking at perhaps another couple of good stitching sessions. So I think I'm gonna try to do my um, acrostic every morning. And then any extra stitching time I have after that, I'm going to try my best to spend it on this happy birthday until it's finished. Because it, I think I have the potential to finish it in time to put it on the mantle in August. Which means I better get busy and paint that shelf container that it goes in. But anyway, got to stitch it first. So I'm going to put this away. I've, got, I've already decided what I'm going to stitch on for tonight for my Zoom call, and that is my O Tomato. So I think I'll be able to work on it. I'll be able to see it better. So I'm going to put my black fabric, which is a is dusk, and it's a picture this plus, so it's pretty tight. It's a tight stitch. It's 32 count. But I'm going to put it away uh, in the birthday bag now. <laughs> and um, let me find my gloss. But anyway, I'll put it up and then I will, uh, but I'm not going to put it too far away. I'm going to keep it pretty close. So um, I hope to show you this in the next day or two. I think that would be great. Well, I'm going to get on my Zoom now. I probably won't film after Zoom. We usually talk till 10 or 10.30 and then I need to get on to bed. So I'll probably show you tomorrow what I stitch the rest of the evening. But in the meantime, happy stitching. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It is Tuesday, April 9th, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my stitching. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of a life update because I've been getting a lot of questions on my videos about it. So we'll go ahead and talk about it. But first, stitching. Last night I had a Zoom call with some friends and I was working on O Tomato uh, because I was at a point uh, where I thought I'd like to get a page finish. And the good news is I did. Last night I got a page finish. And while I was on the Zoom call last night, we got our email letting us know our bingo call for today, my private little bingo game I'm in, and my bingo call for today was number 19, and on my board, that is a whip for an acrostic. Well, my O tomato I was using for an acrostic, so I decided I would wait and stitch my stitches today for my... Um, bingo game and I would total all the stitches up for the acrostic. So I didn't post for the acrostic last night. And today I pulled out my O tomato. So last night I finished the page that ended right here. 
with these elongated um, stitches. And this morning, I finished stitching my, I did, an, I did 405 stitches last night on it, and then this morning, I did 170. And I only needed 100 for my bingo game. So here's where I ended up. So I've got these two in for my bingo game. And I have one more to do here, and then I'm back into lettering. So I may work on it a little bit more today because I'm gonna go get my hair cut here in a few minutes, and then I'll be back and I can stitch more. I already have lunch in the crock pot. I'm fixing chili, homemade chili. Uh, it rained this morning and turned off a little cool, so I have um, put chili on for lunch. And I have a little bit of fermented cheese in there. I'm gonna make my husband a grilled fermented cheese sandwich to go with his chili. So I think that'll be a lovely lunch. I'm looking forward to it. So I mentioned that I wanted to talk to you about a question um, that I keep getting on my video. And I, I really appreciate how tender most of you uh, are being. Uh, you want to make sure you're not offending, but you're asking if I'm losing weight. And the answer to that is yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> That's not offensive at all <laughs> to tell me you think I've lost weight. That's great. Um, I have. So I wanted to make sure that you know I'm not ill. I had a couple of people mention to me that they hoped I was losing weight because I was trying and not because I was sick. And so the answer is I'm not, I'm not ill. I'm actually losing weight to improve my health. And so I'm going to share a little bit of personal information here um, just so you're not worried but um, I have had a weight struggle um, for many years, many, many years, um, probably since I had my son and he's 41 years old. So I've struggled a long time. I have been up and down and up and down in my weight and that's really not healthy. Um, but I would lose weight, I would try really hard and do everything I should do and lose weight and then even though I was trying to maintain it well, it seemed to always come back. And I finally got really frustrated with that and went and talked to a weight loss specialist and a nutritionist and, and a weight loss physician. And I um, started having a battery of tests. And basically, here's what we found. My um, body, because I was obese, uh, had gotten stuck in a mode where my hormones were telling my body to store everything um, in my body and not burn it and also was telling my brain that I was hungry all the time and that wasn't true but that's what my brain was telling me and so um, in, in part of those tests what I really found out that made me decide I had to lose weight um, is that I had an echocardiogram and um, they found fluid around my heart and they found I had an enlarged chamber in my heart and so that's pretty serious and that indicated to me I had already become diabetic I already had high blood pressure and, um, and now I had fluid building around my heart which is not safe at all so my cardiologist told me I had to lose weight he said whatever you have to do you have to lose weight <laughs> so I've been working very hard at it I won't go into all the details about uh, the diet or what I'm doing or anything else like that um, because that's very private and very personal but I will tell you it's healthy and I'm under a doctor's care and um, I'm seeing a dietitian a nutritionist uh, regularly and they are tweaking uh, what I can eat um, so that you know I can slowly um, adjust my body uh, the good news is that my diabetes is in complete remission, and I am off any medication for that. The fluid is decreasing around my heart beautifully. I've had an echocardiogram, and my chamber is no longer enlarged due to stress, and my um, fluid is diminishing, and I'll have another echocardiogram uh, in, in the fall, and so uh, we'll keep We'll keep tabs on that and make sure I'm doing okay. I am hoping to lose a little bit more weight. I have a goal in mind, um, and I'm well on my way there, but um, 
I hope that you will continue to see just a little less of me. <laughs> And I appreciate so much your concern and making sure that I'm okay. Um, I am. In fact, I'm probably healthier than I have been in years. And so that is great. And of course, some of those side benefits are I get to play with Coco a lot more easily and I get to walk her a lot farther. And so um, all of those are good things. I'm really, really liking that. I will tell you one thing. Losing so much weight, I don't know what it is about it, but my hair is falling out by the handful, so I may be bald before it's over with. You can tell it's very, very thin, uh, but you know what? That's part of life, and I, um, I'd i rather my hair be thin and me be healthy than my hair be thick. The doctor tells me it will come back, that it will just take a little time for it to continue growing, um, to fill back in, and it's just the stress you know, on your body for changing how you eat and losing weight and becoming much more physically active. There's just a lot going on for my body. And, um, and the way that it's showing is that I'm losing hair. But anyway, I'm not bald yet. <laughs> and if I get bald, that's okay. Um, it'll, it'll be temporary. So thank you so much for being concerned enough to ask. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. And I hope that if you have uh, a need to talk to me about it, if you have questions that um, you would like to kind of see if you're in a similar position that I was in, um, you know, my email is always in the drop down box. Feel free to email me and we can arrange a time to talk. I don't mind talking with you one on one about it. But um, I just wanted to mention it only because I've been getting more and more comments out of concern um, because it's noticeable now and um, I appreciate that and I appreciate your concern I really do it means you care about me as a person uh, even if we haven't met in person uh, we've met virtually and so we have a conversation going on and I appreciate that very much so I'm gonna quit babbling and I'm gonna go and get my hair cut <laughs> what I have left of it, and uh, I'm going to uh, come back and get some more stitching done and hopefully have some more to share with you later on. In the meantime, I do hope that you are enjoying every stitch that you are working on. Happy stitching, everybody. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'm back. I just wanted to let you know I had been uh, working a little bit more today on O Tomato and I finished up the lettering. So now I have just the bottom part to finish up. See where the tomato pincushion is, the scissors, the vine, and the um, little hoop there. That's what I have left. But I'm about to get on a Zoom call. And I want to be able to do something on my Zoom call that's going to be easier to see. This is on linen. Linen is not my favorite uh, because it is a little harder for me to see with it being uneven. And I've been working on this for two days. So I'm ready to put it away for a little while. It's close to a finish, so I'll be happy to grab it whenever I get one of my bingo calls for closest to a finish. This would probably be the one. And so I will, um, I'll grab it up probably within a, you know, a week or so, but, um, I definitely want to try to finish it this month. That is for sure something I would like to work on. So, uh, even if I, if it doesn't make it back out while I'm working on my bingo calls the rest of the month, I'm through with that by the 25th. And that gives me days at the end of the month to go ahead and finish if I want to. So I'm going to put it away. I'm going to get ready for my Zoom call. And I hope that you have a great evening and that you, um, you know, have a wonderful uh, time of stitching in the next couple of days. I must say the chili went over really well today at lunch with the pimento cheese sandwich. Um, grilled pimento cheese. <laughs> my husband ate three bowls of chili. He never eats seconds, much less thirds. Anyway, I was pretty amazed <laughs> and happy that he liked it. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to pack everything up, as I said, and get ready for my Zoom call. So, until I get to share anything else with you, happy stitching, everybody.
Hello everyone, good evening. It is April 10th. It is late in the evening and I'm coming back to uh, film what I've been working on today. I went to my friend Juliana's today and stitched with her and visited with her mom and her and um, just had a lovely afternoon. And so while I was there, I decided to work on Strawberry Fair and I put in 700 stitches today. So, since you've seen it, I've stitched the flowers, these two borders here, and I have completed the meat of the strawberry, which is four colors, precious strawberry. I'm now working on the greenery and the stem of the strawberry. Then I'm going to still have, you know, a section to do in between those two borders. I've got all the greenery to do and I still have that big bird to do. There's a lot of stitching in this little thing, but I love it. It's by October House called Strawberry Fair and it is a sow. There's apparently been a sow going on out there on Instagram because we found the hashtag that my friend Lori from Once Upon a Stitch, her friend and now my friend Dee and my friend Donna uh, do a planning meeting um, usually once a month. We, we try to talk every couple of weeks but one of them in particular at the end of the month is a planning session for the upcoming month. And when Lori mentioned on one of her videos that she was going to Stitch Strawberry Fair. I had this in my stash and I had been trying to decide which thing I wanted to stitch that had strawberries in it. I wanted to do something with strawberries and so when I saw she had this one and was going to stitch it, I chose to go ahead and pull this one as my choice so I could stitch it with a start along with her. And so tomorrow night I'll get to share with Lori and Dee and Donna, my progress. I will tell you, Donna has almost finished it. She probably has by now. Um, I don't know where Lori and, and Dee are with their progress. Um, so I'll find out tomorrow night. Before I left this afternoon, I was here at the house stitching this morning and I was working on a prompt and I was working on a hands-on design, happy birthday, and I was using this for the letter O for hands-on design in my magazine monthly challenge group. So I got uh, a little more work on that. Anyway, I did the word birthday and I did the candles underneath this morning before I left. So now I just have the three cupcakes to do, but they are quite a lot of stitching. But tomorrow I have a Zoom call with some stitching friends. And tomorrow night I have our planning call and, and we will um, not be able to do much planning because it's more of a status report on how you're doing for the month. So we'll stitch together. And uh, I may, I'll either stitch on my strawberry fair while I'm talking to everybody, which might be fun, or I'll stitch on my happy birthday. Tomorrow, my uh, bingo call is to stitch on something that's needed for a prompt. And I was looking at that earlier today to see what I want to stitch on in the morning when I get up to hit my bingo call. And I think I'm going to pull out my by the bay my 13th colony and put 100 stitches in it just for the prompt and then go back to one of these two smalls that i'm trying to finish up by the end of the month <laughs> so we'll see but it's been great stitching today great fun visiting with other uh, people that enjoy stitching and uh, crafting and so that has been awesome so that is my um progress today I haven't uh, done anything else uh, other than that bit of stitching. We had choir tonight, and it was a sad occasion because we did our um, celebration uh, for our pianist that's retiring from our church, and um, 
we had a huge presentation for her and um, had special guests that came and uh, it was lovely. It was lovely. We do choir practice and we cut the choir practice a little bit short so we could do that. So that was fun. Enjoyed it. It was, I was teary-eyed. <laughs> so we, we won't talk about that. <laughs> How sad it was to say goodbye to someone that's been there for 26 and a half years. It's a long time. Um, anyway, I think that's all the news fit to print. Um, I am really excited about all my stitching tomorrow, all my Zoom calls tomorrow. And so I hope I get a lot of stitching done. I know I'll get a lot of visiting done. But whatever I do, I'll come back and share it with you. So happy stitching, everybody. Hello, everyone. I have a glare going on. Let me see if I can fix it. Kind of looks um, fuzzy. I don't know. Okay. Well, good morning. It is the 11th of April. Coco's here with me. Her dad has gone on an errand this morning, and so she's very clingy this morning. But I had a Zoom call, and I'm so excited to tell you that during my Zoom call, I had a finish. So this is Hands on Designs. Happy birthday. And this is one that I will uh, put on the, the little shelf sitter container. I've got to paint mine, put it together, and, and fully finish this for my August mantle. But this is the second one I think I've stitched for the happy birthday mantle. And I have plans for a third one, but I probably won't finish it by August. I'm going to get it started, but I probably won't finish it by August. But at least I'll have a couple of them that I can put on the mantle and uh, hopefully make it uh, sort of a birthday uh, mantle for all our August birthdays in the family. But I think it's really cute and I really like it on this picture of this plus fabric called Dusk. It's 32 count Dusk. So I will be finishing it as soon as I can. But that is my FFO. No, FO. There you go. That is my finish. Now, I have a list of things I need to work on today. My next one will be my By the Bay 13th Colony, and that's for my bingo. I need to work on something for a prompt. And I have a prompt in one of my acrostics to use for my 13th Colony. So I'll be doing that. And after I get those 100 stitches in, then I can work on either my pre-stitching for my class that I'm going to in July, or I can work on one of my other pieces that I want to try to finish this month. I made a list of how many things I wanted to try to finish this month. And there are several. And I've talked about that earlier, so I won't go into detail about that right now. But I am thrilled to tell you that this morning I got the first one done off that list and I struck it off. <laughs> so that's good. I did put 432 stitches in that today to finish it up. So it was a good morning of stitching. And now I'm going to have lunch with my husband here in a few minutes. And then I'll come back and I'll do more stitching this afternoon. And then this evening I get to Zoom with three friends um, that we do our acrostic planning with. And we're doing the Strawberry Fair Sal together. So I can't wait to show them my progress on that too. So I will let you go to um, back to your stitching or... Uh, whatever you were working on and I'm gonna go have lunch and I hope to be able to share more with you later today. Happy stitching everybody. Hello again everybody welcome back. It is a little bit later on the 11th of April and I have just finished stitching for my private bingo and today's prompt was to stitch on something that was a whip I needed for a prompt. And so I looked at my acrostics and I was using my By the Bay 13th Colony for the B in rowboat in the monthly magazine challenge group. So I went ahead and pulled it out and I put exactly 100 stitches in. And I didn't purposely stop there, that's just where the color ran out. 
I had left off at this little bush last time, and so I have now color completed these two colors of pale grass and a little bit darker grass. And I have finished those two colors all the way out to the tree. So that's all of the grass all the way across. So that's my accomplishment for today. Well, I'll put this away now and um, work on something else during my Zoom call. I just got to figure out what I want to work on. I am excited to report to you that with my finish today, I was able to strike that off my list. So that's one of the one, two, three, four, five, six that I want to finish this month. So that leaves me five. <laughs> so I'll be working on it. Um, otherwise, everything, everything's going well. And um, I hope to be back and share more stitching with you before you know it. Happy stitching, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It is April the 12th. It is Friday, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some stitching that has taken place. Last night on my Zoom call, I was working on Strawberry Fair. I felt like it was appropriate since we all started it together on April the 1st, and um, so I wanted to work on it. Donna was working on it as well. Uh, my other two friends were working on things in their rotation. They each do a two-day rotation. And so they had pulled out what they were supposed to be working on according to their rotation. And I had finished my prompt for the day, so I just went ahead and pulled out Strawberry Fair since it was something we had started together. And so I got busy on it, and I finished my strawberry and... I did the border at the bottom last night. So I finished the strawberry. I had some green leaf to do here and the little bit of red that you see on the other side of the leaf. Um, and then I came down here and I did this whole border across the bottom plus the little strawberry um, that's there. So I am tickled to death. So what I have left to do now on this is the green vine with the leaves the bird and the little flower that's up in the top corner there, the decorative stitching that's in the corner. So not too bad, not too bad. I made great progress on that last night. In fact, I can tell you, if you give me a second to turn my page back over to yesterday, I stitched 322 stitches on that yesterday. So that was awesome. Then today, I came in here and I got to talk to my sister this morning. And then I met some ladies from church for lunch. We have a group of five of us that get together whenever we can. And today, four of us were able to meet up together and we had lunch. And uh, so, while I was talking to my sister this morning, um, I had to let her take care of a couple of business calls in between. And so, I... Um, I stitched a little bit while I was waiting on her to be able to get back to me. And then when I got back from lunch, I continued stitching. And so I was working on Hawk Run Hollow. I'm working on Hawk Run Hollow for a prompt in um, two or three acrostics. Let me look. All, all three. <laughs> This was in all three acrostics. Oh, that's awesome. It was for an R in all three for the run in Hawk Run Hollow. And so today I put in exactly 302 stitches and I finished a lot more of the grass underneath the tree. So now I have one more color of grass and then there are these little tiny specks through here that are uh, supposed to be, I think, grass seed or flowers that are growing up like weeds in the grass, maybe. And um, once I finish that, there's a rabbit on one heel. I think it's over here. There's a flower on this heel and a rabbit above it. And then I get up into the tree, all the tree stuff. So I'm going to have to roll it back down just a little bit um, 
to do that, but I had rolled it up to where it was comfortable for me to stitch on that since it was uh, full coverage in that bottom section. But now I am making some good progress. This is a very full square. Um, so um, just taking it a little bit at a time, a prompt at a time to get that done. So now I have some decisions to make. We have a stitching meetup tomorrow and I have to decide what I'm gonna take with me. I can either start some homework assignments for my retreat in July and take them and hope that I get at least one of those stitched tomorrow. I could take my Strawberry Fair and try to push it closer to a finish. I could take my um, Christmas ornament and try to push it closer to a finish. So I don't really know what I wanna do yet. <laughs> I do know that I have a couple of more prompts that I can work on that are not in my bingo call. I went through my bingo call and everything that was for something that was particular, like a winter whip or a Christmas whip or something that's for a prompt. I actually went through my acrostics and I identified which one of those I was going to use for each of those squares. Um, and the reason I did that was simply so I could see what of my projects do I not think will happen as a result of my bingo board, unless I just pick it for whip of choice. And then I thought that way, when I'm working on a prompt that's not part of my bingo board, I'll pick one of these that's not designated already. And that way I'll be getting my prompts met uh, you know, carefully, and that way I don't worry about running out of time. So that's what I did today. That's why I picked up Spring at Hawk Run Hollow. So now that I have met a prompt today, I try to meet at least one a day, um, then now I'm kind of free to do whatever I want to do. So I'll look around and see what I want to tackle, and then, you know, you know the drill. I'll come back and share it with you. <laughs> anyway. Thanks so much um, for letting me share my stitching journey with you. I appreciate it very, very much. I appreciate your interest. So um, until we speak again, happy stitching. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Today is Saturday. It is April the 13th, and I am here to talk to you today about my stitching meetup about my stitching today, what I've accomplished. So let's talk first of all about the stitching meetup. We had a smaller group today, only about 25 people there. Um, we had uh, a couple of people who had never been before, which was nice. We had a couple of people back that hadn't been there in a long time. And then we had some of our regulars who unfortunately had let us know they were gonna be out of pocket this month. And so I knew we were gonna have a little bit smaller crowd, but that's still pretty good. We had a good time. Anyway, I was driving a struggle bus today. I could not make my stitching behave today. I don't know what was going on. But I had taken my berry with me, that is my ornament of the month, my number 11 berry. And when I got there, I had discovered just before I, when I put it in my bag to um, take it, I had looked at one of the little pipers and he looked smaller than he was supposed to be. So I counted and I was off. He was skinny. He was like a row to a column too short. So I knew I had to correct that. So when I got to the stitching meetup, the first thing I did was say, I gotta frog him out. And I took this in my key snap and I flipped it onto the back to start frogging, pulling out where I had tucked my tail, of uh, tail end of the thread under, and I was just pulling the, the strands out. Well, I turned it back over when I finished frogging the whole shirt on that guy. And this is the one I was supposed to be frogging. But when I flipped it up like this, 
This is the one that I actually mistakenly frogged. And he was right, but I had frogged him anyway. So then, not only did I have to restitch this one, <laughs> I still had to frog this one. So I went ahead and frogged that one while I was in the frogging mode. And I had to stitch both of those back, which I did. So I got a few new stitches in this one that wasn't done, and I got the number 11 stitched. And that was it. That is all I accomplished today at our stitching meetup, and I was there a long time. But there are other things I do while I'm there. You know, I try to greet everybody. I try to make sure any new people are welcomed and have a seat. And um, today, for some reason, the, the librarian who was there, it was not Gabrielle that we work with a lot. It was someone new. She forgot to get the sign-in sheet for us, and so I had to go get that. So I was back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, I also had a couple of wonderful opportunities to talk to people about projects they were working on. I uh, talked with one uh, of our ladies about a corner gauge and uh, Q-snaps and showed her how to get her Q-snap together and helped her get her new start going. And um, so, you know, there were things like that. I also do uh, giveaways, you know, like door prizes and things like that. So I'm up and down throughout the day. But I will tell you, normally I get a whole lot more stitching than this done. But today, I did not. So when I finally got that little guy in and the number 11 in, I said, that's it. I'm putting it away. And I did. So, not a lot of progress on this, and I only have four out of the 11 done. This one is going slow. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling with this one so much, but I am. So, for another day, I have the whole month to stitch it. I actually have the whole year to stitch it, but I am trying to finish it in this month if I can. So, when I came home, I thought, I really need to do something. <laughs> I really need to do something that shows progress. So I looked at my private bingo board and my whip for today was to stitch on a whip that you were using for a prompt. So I looked at my ledger, my spreadsheet, and I noticed that I had snow and mountains in a couple of my cross sticks. And on my list of what I hope to finish this month, I have the April section of Snow and Mountains as one of my things that I wanted to get done. So tonight, when I got home from the library, I started working on it. And then after we broke and went to, I broke that, uh, took a break and went to dinner with my hubby, came back and got back on it. And so I am happy to report that I have more than stitched my April section on Snow and Mountains. This April section was the second half down to the page break. And my page break is about right here. That's the page break. So all this under here, all this down here, part of this, the bottom of this snowflake, that's on the next page. But while I had the thread on my needle, I just went ahead and did below the page break. So all this down in here is extra. I left a hanging thread. I got rid of one. I brought my border on down. I brought this, I did this whole border. It wasn't even there. And I brought it down to where I had stopped stitching before. And then I filled in this to the page break. Now, those few little spaces you see there are actually on the page that I should have stitched, but that color runs all the way down here. So rather than doing two or three stitches and having to leave another hanging park thread, I decided with all the extra stitching I've done over here, I've done at least enough stitches to count for the whole section. So I have done the April section. 
very happy with that. It's coming along well. The next part's gonna be hard. I've gotta get all these windows down to this part in here that's like another section of the window, you know, that goes all the way across. And there's um, this awkward page break right up here. There are no repeating rows, so you literally have to butt one page up against another, lining up the border markers, you know, where you can see that you're in the right relationship to see where to stitch all the way across. Now, once I get that started, it won't be bad, but getting it all started all the way across will be a pain. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do the next time I pick it up. I have a section marked off that's supposed to be for May, but what I'm thinking I may do, and I may do this if I have time before, but I'm trying to finish as much as I'm trying to do this month, it may not be till May. But I think the first thing I may do is go through all of the pages and get that break stitched so that everything's lined up all the way across because I think that's going to make a huge difference in how fast this goes. And now I'm getting into the very heavy, heavy stitching um, on that as I go forward. So I've met my bingo for today. The call for tomorrow it, on the bingo is the number eight, and on my board, number eight is whip of choice. So it doesn't matter what I do tomorrow, it will be fine. And I'm thinking that I will probably do what I did today. I'll look at my acrostics to see what I need to stitch on, um, and I'll pull one, and that's what I will, that's what I'll do. In the first hundred stitches, I'll stop and, you know, take a picture over here <laughs> for my bingo board. So that's been my stitching for today. I do have a cute little story to tell you today because I was having such a difficult time stitching. It wasn't going well and I was frogging and all that. I told my friend Donna, I said, I think I need to walk away at lunch. I need to take a walk and just take a break, you know, get out of the mode that I'm in. And she said, well, okay. So we got ready to, to leave for lunch and um, another lady wanted to go with us and we were gonna head up to our favorite little pizza place. Um, but the wait was so long there, it was about a 30 minute wait, we decided we wouldn't do that. And so we walked down the street around the corner to another restaurant that has a little pizza oven in it. And we ordered one pizza and we all three split it. And it's in a place, uh, a building that has two or three restaurants inside. You go inside and there are all these little shops and restaurants inside this building. And the pizza place we were headed to was kind of toward the back. You go through where all the tables are. They share a big eating space. And you, we were headed to the back where the brick oven was so we could order our pizza. And we're sitting there talking and I look past the lady I'm talking with and I see my husband sitting at a table up there having lunch. Uh, he had been to the church most of the morning singing, practicing, and then singing in, at a funeral of one of our choir members. He was um, able to do that where I was already booked, so I couldn't go. But I, look, I looked, and there he was. He had stopped there for lunch. So I walked up and, and said, you meet the most interesting people here. And he just laughed. He said, how did you get by me and I not see you? He was on his phone. He was eating. He wasn't expecting to see me either. And um, so anyway, that was funny. And so after he finished up uh, eating his um, lunch, he came down where we were sitting, and he sat and visited with us the rest of the time we were there, uh, which was awesome and um and then uh all three of us ladies walked back to the to the library stretched our legs and walked back and uh it worked i sat down i was able to stitch i was able to put put back in the stitches that i had frogged without any more trouble and i actually added a few new stitches so today i actually stitched 111 new stitches i'm not i didn't count all the stitches that I re-stitched. I just counted the new stitches. <laughs> and so that's a pretty poor 
productivity for me for the day, but my snow and mountains made up for it. So that was good. Well, it's late, it's after 11, um, but I was determined that I was gonna meet that goal today because I had not felt very productive when I was stitching today. Um, so I'm gonna tell you good night and uh, tomorrow's Sunday we have, you know, our obligations at church and we'll do that first thing in the morning and then probably right after lunch um, I'll be able to settle in and get some stitching and hopefully have something to share with you tomorrow night. So in the meantime and until we speak again, happy stitching everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. It is Sunday, April 14th, and my name is Dina, and I am here to tell you a little bit about my cross stitch today. I'm glad to be able to tell you about cross stitching today because I started out on the struggle bus again today. So I don't know what has happened in the environment here around my stitching, but it has to change. <laughs> I decided today, I looked at my little private bingo game, and it was a whip of choice, and I thought, great, let me look at my cross sticks like I said I was going to do, and let's see what I want to do. So I noticed that in my monthly magazine challenge group, I needed to stitch on my Christmas parade for the letter W, but I also need to stitch on it for the letter Y in my daily 30 group which requires 300 stitches. I didn't do 300 stitches today, so I'm gonna to have to pull this one back out another day and work on it, but I got my W because I can do it in that group as few stitches as I want to, and I did get 120 stitches. I did 100 for my bingo game. And I'll count those toward my daily 30 group, but I've got, I've got to put this away and come back to it. it. It has been difficult, to say the least. I don't know why it's been difficult. It should not have been, but this is what I'm working on. I remember when we started this at retreat, several of us had a really hard time counting. We chalked it up to, we were in a retreat environment, a lot of noise, a lot of distraction, um, white floss. But we all started in this border up here and we were all having difficulty counting. Now, I frogged a couple of times and then I was able to move on and I got it going. I found a pattern, I got a rhythm and I got it going. Today, I just started to just start in this corner and work here and my plan had been to work here all the way here down here and then go over this way and start Santa so I could enjoy stitching something other than just white border all the time and I thought I would stitch this over until I finished what I had stitched you know had kind of met up with my border at the top and then I could extend the border and I could stitch down this way and so that I would be doing white and color white and color and that was kind of my plan of attack so today I started right over here bringing this down for that little heart that has the pink in it and then I was going to do the A the C the B the snowman da 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 I frogged this heart just the outer stitches of this heart three times today. The first time, I'm not sure what happened other than there's a heart and then right inside the heart is another group of white stitches in there and I had tried to stitch all the white and then come back and fill in with the pink and so I had come straight down and I, I did a couple of the start of the heart and then I went on to get the middle and then I was going to just come on around and finish. It didn't work. I got off somehow and it didn't meet up. So I had to frog the whole thing, the whole white heart in the middle. Then I started again and I decided I'll just do the outer side of the heart. So I did the outer section of the heart and went all the way around and halfway down I realized if I count these <laughs> stitches I'm supposed to have, I will not be in the center when I get there. I had gone over one too many. 
I had to frog it all out again. So I said out loud to myself, because there's nobody else here right now, if I don't get it this time, I'm putting this away and doing it another day. I got it that time. Anyway, this is what I did. So I got this piece done with the heart, all the pink, everything in it. I got the A stitched and the C stitched, and that was 120 stitches. And I said, enough. I'm putting it away. I have a uh, tense feeling. I'm not um, feeling relaxed stitching this. It's not been a, a pleasant experience today. It's been frustrating. And I don't want my stitching to be frustrating. So I know I have enough for my bingo. So I think I'm going to bank that 120 stitches for my daily 30 group. I'll just hang on to it. And I can bring this back out and I can put another, you know, 170, I guess, stitches in it to get my 300 for that acrostic at a later time. In fact, I might, I may have a coupon for a 200 stitch discount. And if I do, I'm using it. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, so if that's the case, this is where my coupon's going. <laughs> and then I think I may put this one away for a little while. Um, I've stitched on it twice and I've had trouble twice. So I think I'm just going to put it away for a little while. I may want to finish Santa's house first and then bring this one back out. I don't know. The fact that it is a sale with a group of friends um, may make me want to pull it out some and stitch on it at least once a month. But um, it's not going to be one of my focus pieces. Not right now. I love the fabric. I love the piece, but I'm, I'm having a hard time stitching it. I don't know why. I would love to say it's because I'm using, I'm using a, um, opal fabric, but it's not. <laughs> I just am having a hard time counting. I don't know why. I'm not paying attention or something. Anyway, I'm going to take it over here so you can see this beautiful piece of fabric. This is a Zweigart fabric. It's a Belfast linen opalescent solo dye. And it's called Because It's Blue. And I got this at the retreat. I bought it from Dames of the Needle. So um, I'm very happy with how that is showing up on there. It's meant to be very pale and, and you know, subdued. And, and it is. It's really quite pretty. So I won't put this away. I'll take a picture of it, I'll post it, and I'll check for that coupon, and I think I'm gonna be excited. I think I won't get to post both of mine, both of my acrostics, which would be great. So, last night, I believe I came back and told you that I did my Snow and Mountains, and I completed my section for the month of April. So I'm very excited about that. So if I look at my list of things that I want to finish this month, if I'm deciding what to work on now, I can work on O Tomato, Be Ye Thankful, or Eleven Pipers Piping. So since I worked on Eleven Pipers yesterday, I don't think I'm going to pull that back out today. I think I'm going to pull out either Be Ye Thankful or O Tomato. And I'll do that, or I will work on some pre-stitching for my class. But since today's been kind of rough, I think I'll pull out something I've been enjoying and just kind of work on a little bit this afternoon. So I'll come back and tell you what that is when I make up my mind. <laughs> anyway, I, as you can tell, I am thrilled to death that I thought about that coupon and, and might be able to uh, be able to count this and be done with it for that um, acrostic and not have to come back and put more stitches in it since I'm struggling with it. Anyway, when you have a piece that you struggle with, what do you do? Do you, do you put it in time out for a little while? Do you, you know, you get it to a little point where you can walk away? That's what I did. I got to a point where I felt comfortable walking away and I met a goal and I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do something different that'll be more fun. So I'm going to do that. I just heard the garage door go up. I hope you couldn't hear it, but I could. And that means that Coco and her dad are home. They've been to the park. Um... My husband has injured himself again. He wouldn't stop running, and I think he overdid it. And I believe he has either pulled or torn a calf muscle. But he sees the doctor Monday. 
tomorrow and I'll keep you posted on how he's doing. But if he has torn his calf muscle, he may not be hiking in June. Those are slow to heal. We'll see. I'll keep you posted on that. Anyway, happy stitching, everybody.